Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about gerbils. Now, it's been a while since we've talked about gerbils on this channel, but today in this video, we're going to be discussing how to keep your gerbils from getting bored, how to make really great toys for them, and so yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more animal videos. So I have my gerbils in a 40 gallon breeder tank. I think this is a 40 gallon. Uh, they are senior citizens and they used to have a wheel, but they would always have it knocked over and just um, weren't really using it anymore. These guys are senior citizens, so um, I decided to take their wheel out and they don't seem to have really missed it much. Uh, if they were younger, then maybe they would be missing their wheel. To keep these guys from getting bored, I provide them with a lot of environmental enrichment, mostly in the form of things that they can chew. One of the things that I really like for them are the Yum Balls from Exotic Nutrition. These are treats, and I'm gonna be discussing this more later in the video, but for now, let's talk about really cost-effective ways of providing them with things that are environmentally enriching for them uh, that are not gonna cost you very much. One of the easiest things that you can provide for them are actually toilet paper and paper towel rolls. So we all have these. So this is a super cheap toy that's going to provide them with hours of entertainment. They love hiding inside of it. They love chewing on it and it's safe for them. Uh, one of the other really cool things about these rolls is you can actually use them to make different types of toys. So if you want to cut it up and turn it into something that they have to get a treat out of, it's also a really good tool. But for just having something to give them that's quick, easy, and super cheap, just throw this in there and they'll have a new toy. Egg cartons are also another really safe toy for them because they are safe to chew on. Just make sure you are providing them with egg cartons that are cardboard and not egg cartons that are made of styrofoam. You don't want to use those, but if you have the cardboard ones, you can actually um, put hay or bedding and stuff inside of it, throw in some treats, close the lid, and then give it to your gerbils so that they can spend time chewing on it and trying to get into it to get those treats. Natural branches from outside give gerbils a really great environmental enrichment. The smell, the texture, the taste, all of that provides very beneficial environmental enrichment to the gerbils. Just make sure that the wood you are using is safe, non-toxic, and hasn't been treated with chemicals. Personally, I use um, pecan, cotton wood, and choya wood. Uh, I especially like the choya wood for small animals because it gives them little grips with all of these holes in it and it's safe for them to chew on and all of that. So this is actually one of my favorite ones. Another one is hay. Now gerbils don't really eat hay. They might chew on it a bit, but it's not actually part of their diet. So you might not have thought to buy your gerbils hay, but it's actually a really good nesting material for them and they really enjoy burrowing in it. They don't need a lot. Um, I provide my gerbils with a lot just because I have access to that um, since a lot of like this type of hay just falls on the floor of the barn and would go to waste. Uh, but they don't need like quite this much if you want to keep your costs down. So just, um, you know, buy hay when you're buying their bedding and whenever you change out their bedding in their cage, add some hay so that they do have nesting material. And it's also so that they can chew on it and stuff like that. It's not something they're going to be um, eating like a rabbit or a guinea pig, but it's something that they can definitely entertain themselves with. And like I said, it's just great material for them to be able to burrow and nest and all of that. And as you can tell, they really like it. <laughs> now, another great thing that you can do for your gerbils to give them something to do is let them have a sand bath. What I like to do is get a little glass bowl and put sand inside of it. You can use either chinchilla sand or just regular play sand from outside. Just make sure that that's not treated with any chemicals, um, that it's uh, you know clean, doesn't have any um, rocks or sharp objects in it, and you can use that. And you can provide that as part of their environment, as part of their cage, or <laughs> you guys are noisy. Or you can actually just provide it about once a week if you want to just put it in there sometimes for a couple of hours and then take it out. But they can actually get oily first, so giving them a sand bath is really good for them and it gives them something to do. Gerbils really love chewing on stuff, if you haven't noticed by now. So anything you can give them that is safe for them to chew on is going to make an excellent toy. 
You can find lots of toys meant for rabbits and hamsters that are also great for gerbils. Another option is finding the same materials at craft stores. You want it to be all natural with no chemicals, but safe things for them include wicker, natural grass, and plant fibers. And of course, cardboard is also a good option. Uh, so as you can see, there's a little flap right here. Well, I got new curtain rods for this room and they came in these cardboard boxes. And so there are long boxes that are just basically little tunnels for small animals. At least that's what I saw when I got it. And so after I took out the curtain rods, I put it in here and I buried it in there. So one end is on this side and one end comes up underneath their hay. And so that, if you see them running back and forth, but you know, not through up here, that's what they're doing. They'll run in here. See, there he goes. And then he's gonna come out through up there. Let's see, is he coming? And he's being very noisy. <laughs> but yeah, they go back and forth through there, so that's also a really cool thing for them. And then of course, lastly, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite treats for them, Exotic Nutrition's Yum Balls. They're really great for small animals and they're made with sunflower hearts, peanuts, and pine nuts. These are also good for different types of rodents, rats, hamsters, stuff like that. And they're also a pretty healthy and nutritious snack. And it's just something cool for them to be able to bite and roll around. And it's not just like giving them a treat and then they eat it in the stomach. This one actually gives them time to really get into it. And that I really like. You can find the link down below in the description of the video for the Yum Balls, as well as a coupon code for your entire purchase from Exotic Nutrition. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the gerbils and learning more about how to care for them. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!